What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is all about the current iteration and maybe the best version of my pedal board. You can call it my 2022 pedal board video. <laughs> so we'll take a look at the pedals, how they sound, why I chose them, etc. So with all that being said, let's dive into today's video. Cool. So what's on my pedal board for 2022? That is the main topic for today's video. But first, let's look at everything else, the guitar and the amp. For today's video, we are using my 2012 Murphy aged Les Paul reissue, my number one guitar. But I also have the 335, the Super Eagle, Silver Sky, and the K-Line Telecaster in the arsenal, right? And when I change guitars, I keep the settings on the pedal board and on the amp the same. Because every guitar has its own unique voice. And by keeping everything the same, in my opinion, that unique voice that every guitar has comes out in a more articulate way, articulate fashion, so to speak. Onto the amp now. The amp, as you can see, is my number one amp, which is the Wellagen Overdrive Special. A very high quality Dumble clone that is incredible, right? My number one amp, a dream amp that I am very lucky and fortunate to own. As you can see, the settings aren't that dramatic, right? And for the most part, I'm usually on the rock setting. But if I want a more simple Fender type sound, then I'll go on the jazz setting and engage the bright switch. So it cuts a little bit of bass and adds a bit of sparkle in the top end. Since the amp also doesn't have reverb, I am always running a Strymon Flint into the loop of the amp right, for a very simple spring type reverb. And that is the sound that you hear in most of the videos. So with all that being said, let's hear it. We'll go on the neck pickup of the guitar, amp on the clean channel and reverb in the loop. <laughs> A very simple, yet very, very good clean tone, right? I'm all about the cleans on this channel. <laughs> and if you watched the last video I posted on the Ico Ico turnaround, this is the exact same setup. Guitar, amp, and a bit of reverb, right? <laughs> So now let's check out the pedal board and what's on there as well as go through each and every pedal and what they're used for. So here's the pedal board, as you can see. Honestly, not much has changed. 
But what has changed is my knowledge for the board and everything is really, really dialed in right now, right? Which is great. Signal path is guitar comes into the interface on the top right. That goes then into the TC electronic polytune followed by the full tone super trem, which I use more as a boost and hardly as a tremolo. <laughs> that then goes into the Ibanez TS-10 for the light overdrive. And that position of the pedal board is where I change my overdrives, right? So that's always changing, depends how I feel or the sound that I wanna go for. That then goes into the Vertex Boost Mark II, which is the newest addition to the pedal board. And in my opinion, is the best boost to go after overdrives or distortion take your overdrive or distorted tone, raise it up without any color change. And it does that wonderfully. That goes back into the interface, out of the interface again, because we're not running for a cable method, into the Strymon timeline, into the Hall of Fame, out of the interface, into the Boss RC2, and that goes into the front of the amp, right? And we have reverb, like mentioned before, in the loop of the amp already. This pedal board also allows me to run for a cable method. So if, if I want, I can disengage the flint from the loop, run for a cable method, and have the Strymon timeline and the TC Hall of Fame in the loop of the amp with the drive and the boost in the front of the amp. All right, so very versatile. So with all that being said, Let's dive into some tones now. Let's go. Well, all right, it's tone time. Let's check out the clean tone one more time. Right, a very standard clean tone. If you watched the last video on the Ico Ico turnaround, this is the setup. Les Paul into the amp with Strymon Flint in the loop, right? So first up on the pedal board, let's take a look at the full tone super trim. Has a great internal boost function, which really adds a bit of girth to the notes, right? So here is that same turnaround with no boost. <laughs> So again, here's that phrase with no boost. Engage boost. So a really great overall rounding type boost. It also works great as an input boost with the PRS Super Eagle because since that guitar has less output pickups in comparison to the Les Paul, it works as a great always on pedal to add a bit of weight to the guitar. So that is the full tone super trim. So up next, we have the very classic Ibanez TS-10 Tube Screamer. And as you can see on mine, I have the gain all the way off, tone at 12 o'clock and level around one o'clock. So I'm adding a bit of signal, but I'm not adding a ton of gain that you would get if you would raise the gain knob, right? It's acting more as a color shifter or enhancer, so to speak. 
So let's go to middle position and hear some tones. Here is the clean sound. Engage the TS-10. Right, That is probably one of my favorite overdubs of all time and has followed me on really every board iteration. Let's keep the TS-10 on because now we can see what the Vertex Boost does to the sound, right? So I have the Vertex Boost at about 11 o'clock and you'll see that it takes this already light overdriven tone in the TS-10 and raises it without any color change. So here is the Ibanez TS-10. Let's go to bridge pickup. Right, engage the vertex boost. Right, here is the just TS-10. Engage Vertex Boost. So it raises this already slightly overdriven tone without adding any color or changing the frequencies. It's such a great pedal. Let's check out now how it sounds with the overdrive from the amp. So here is our bass tone. Engage the amp overdrive. What the vertex boost does is almost make it sound better. Right? Here's with it off. On. Such an incredible pedal. So up next, we have Delay with the Strymon Timeline. What an incredible piece of kit that once I got it dialed in with the current delay setting, it almost never turns off. It's incredible. I have about four banks, two presets each, but I mainly live on bank four, preset one or A, and that is a slapback delay in the duck setting, 
which is very reminiscent of this TC Electronic 20 to 90 delay, which is the whole degree of delay pedals for guitar, in my opinion. Someone like Robin Ford, who's a huge inspiration of mine, always used it when he had his dumbbell later with his dumbbell. And that's kind of the tone I'm going for. The delay, like mentioned, is a quick slap back at 132 milliseconds. And like I said, it almost never goes off. So let's check it out. I've also turned off the reverb. So all you're hearing is delay and you'll see how it gets out of the way when you're playing. some overdrive in the amp and you're pretty much in the ballpark of that Robin Ford type tone. Add in the Vertex Boost, and you can kind of get in the ballpark of Rugged Road, which I already played in the beginning with the Vertex Boost. <laughs> Such a great delay. And it's really cool because when you add the reverb, it almost hides beneath the reverb, but it's still prominent, right? So here it is with no reverb. Let's now engage reverb. And you can hear. It's still in the front, but not as in your face as it is without reverb. That is almost like my holy grail tone. <laughs> Next up, let's check out the TC Hall of Fame Reverb Mini. And last, but certainly not least, the smallest effect on the pedal board, and that is the TC Electronics Hall of Fame Mini Reverb. I love the bigger one as well, but it wouldn't fit on this pedal board. So the Hall of Fame works and works great. Um, it currently has, I think, the Robin Ford Spring Fever preset, and it's a great in-the-front type reverb. Now, if I'm being honest, I mostly use the Strymon Flint in the loop. I think it sounds a little softer, and it's not as in-your-face as the reverb in front of the amp. But still, overall, a great reverb to have in the arsenal. So here is the clean zone. Engage the reverb.
right? Bridge pickup. And that is what's on my pedal board. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video on my 2022 pedal board, the best version of the pedal board, in my opinion and I know it like the back of my hand, and I think that's even more important than the pedals. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.